What's going on ladies and germs, Pimply Peak back at you once again and this is a quick video guide for you hunters out there on how to unlock the plunder blade for your pelico. Now for those of you that don't know what the plunder blade is, uh, it's basically an equipment that your pelico can equip uh, and allows uh, your pelico to loot items from monsters uh, that you are fighting. So this is incredibly useful for when you're farming um, you know, materials to craft items and such. Uh, and you know, in my opinion, it's way better than the Vigor Wasp Spray. Now, before we get started, uh, you will have to uh, play a good portion of the story in order to unlock the uh, area required to unlock this item. So if you don't want any spoilers for some of the later areas in the game, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video now. Alright, so in order to unlock the Plunder Blade, you're going to need to go to uh, the central camp in Rotten Vale. Uh, now, you won't have access to this camp right away. Uh, but just keep playing through the main campaign and eventually you'll unlock this campsite. Once you arrive, you want to make sure you have at least one piece of raw meat in your inventory. Now, I'm not going to bother telling you guys where to get raw meat. If you've gotten this far in the game without finding a single piece of raw meat, then, you know, bravo. <laughs> Anyways, if you take a look at your map uh, in grid 13, there should be a green dot uh, now this marks the Linian Researcher. Now your first step is to go and talk to this NPC. So I'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the rest of this video. Once you get here, you should see a little cutscene of this plunder kitty or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, just go ahead and talk to the NPC and he'll tell you all about it. Now, once you talk to him, uh, you're going to go ahead and head to grid 15. Uh, sorry, I forgot to show this uh, during the recording. Uh, but, you know, if you open up your map, uh, grid 15 should be really close by. So, I'm just going to go ahead once again speed up the video uh, because I do a lot of looting. Now, once you reach grid 15, you're going to see the plunder kitty again. Uh, don't worry about scaring it off. Uh, right here, I'm trying to sneak. Uh, this is my first time doing that. I didn't know what was going to happen, but uh, I think he's scripted to run away uh, regardless. So don't worry about scaring it off. Once it's gone, uh, you're just going to go ahead and take a few steps back. And you're going to place a piece of raw meat right here. Now, just go ahead and run out of this little cave area and go into sneak mode. I shouldn't explain how to go into sneak mode because that is literally what the game teaches you in the beginning. <laughs> now just sit here and chill for a few seconds. Uh, eventually your palico will notify you that uh, it's bringing a couple of its friends. Uh, when that happens, you can simply go up to them and trigger the cutscene. Here's me again being cautious. I even equipped my uh, little trap net because I, I wasn't sure if you need to capture it or not. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to do it. Just go ahead and run up to it. And bam! Right after the cutscene, you should receive your plunder blade. Like I said, I think it's way more useful than the uh, the Vigor Wasp uh, deployment thingy majig. And like it, you can also level it up. And the higher the level, the better the items um, it'll plunder. Uh, now, in order to level up, I think you just have to use it, meaning you know, just equip it on your palico, and uh, you should be good to go. Anyways, hope this video has been helpful, and uh, yeah, be sure to check back for some more Monster Hunter World gameplay, and yeah, till next time, you guys take care, and I'll catch you on the flip side.